Hello, my name is Mike Pfaff, and this is my YouTube channel, Living in the Illusion. Uh, today we're having a little Japanese green tea that I got from the tea lady at the Eastern Market here in Detroit, and it's open every Saturday. So drop down and see Mary and next to her will be garlic mustard, which is my son's business. Now, last time we got together, uh, this is the model that we used. So we're gonna be changing this in a second. Uh, what happens when you change your self-talk and the answer magic happens because your self-talk is a symptom of your belief system and how you create your world so if your self-talk is negative you're going to have a negative world and if your self-talk is positive, you're gonna have a more receptive and fun time in your world. So self-talk is very important and we don't think about it. We think, oh, it just happens. Or most of the time, you have no idea underneath your conscious awareness of what your self-talk is. So as you begin to change it, magic happens in your life and your life either gets better or it gets worse. Attitude is everything. And now, today's subject. And this is what we're going to be talking about in this video today. There is no outside world, only energy. Outside of you is only energy. Now this is going to be controversial because you are sure in the egoic world there are objects outside of you. Now, but a very scientific fact, there's only energy and two basic forms, waves of energy or particles of energy. So now I have put so, uh, on our little model, I have begun to do some work. So I need to go through it. Now this is going to require some imagination. And some of you will be able to understand this or get this idea pretty quickly. And others will say, I don't understand what he's talking about. That will take longer. So let me see if we can go through it in a very simple way. Now again, on this side, kind of represents what's outside of you, which is energy. Now these are fields of energy. These are any interacting fields of energy. And so this, this represents different fields, not just two-dimensional, three-dimensional, maybe four-dimensional. That's as far as I got. 
maybe four dimensional. And the colors within this represent standing patterns within the wave, within the uh, fields of energy. And so they would be like wave functions. Now, that, but they're fixed. And I relate this to whirlpools in a river. Now, in a river, you can, uh, in certain rivers, depending on the temperature, the, the terrain, the uh, bottom of the river, all kinds of things, whirlpools develop. And as the whirlpools develop, the water keeps on flowing. The energy keeps on going. But the pattern remains. And the pattern has a certain characteristic. And if you get too close, it'll suck you down. If you stay far enough away, you can throw a little piece of paper in there and watch them disappear. And it's almost like a black hole where the rim becomes kind of solid. But it's always moving. And that's what these patterns are. They are fixed patterns within the energy system. Now just think about that. You might have to use your imagination a little bit different. But let's just stay with that. Now, between the fields of energy that are outside of you and what you create inside. In other words, your inside created world of objects. Because the world you create inside of you is going to have objects in it. And here's a few that I drew as best I could. Uh, a ball, uh, a book, uh, a table, a little flower, and maybe a puppy dog. Of course, it doesn't look like a puppy dog, but it could be a puppy dog. So you create these inside of you based upon the information coming from the energy system and what I have continually called the standard model for the illusion. And in that, your sensory information, which is just electromagnetic and chemical signals, are filtered through what you know to be true which is your memories and life experiences. And from that filtering process, you develop meaningful data for you. Now let's go back again. You have all this information out here that your senses are gathering data from. The data comes inside and you, your subconscious mind, looks at it through the filtering of what is true for you, which is your life experiences and the memories. And here again, out of that comes your belief system. So again, it is your belief system that is determining what is meaningful for you. And all the other stuff that's out here that isn't meaningful for you, disregard it. Why? Doesn't mean anything to you at this moment. Then you take that meaningful data and you create the world that you have with all of the objects that you have around you, pictures and lamps and dogs and cars, and everything else comes out of this. 
Now, don't get ahead of yourself thinking, well, how, how am I going to build a car out of this? Just recognize you are taking the data and you are creating your world that is meaningful for you. Now, the world is not out here in the energy system. It's not out there. It's in here. You made all of your objects in your world, relationships, houses, whatever it is, you have created it inside. How does it get out here? Or how do you believe there's an outside world? Uh, that's where this little word comes from, projection. You take your world of objects that you create and your conscious mind projects it onto the energy field. This interacting, this undulating, this moving, this never setting still energy with inside of it has fixed patterns. So if you have, say, a ball over here and you project it onto here, it will line up because of your input data. You're inputting the information. It will line up. Your little ball over here will line up with one of these fixed patterns. And now when your senses begin to pick this information up, you got five senses, not just one. If you touch this fixed energy system, you know what it'll feel like? A ball. If you look at it through the eyes, the data that is transmitted to you, and then you filter it, and then you create an object, it'll look like this ball. So all your objects when projected onto the energy system, this is what you think is an outside world. And your senses picking the data up will give you all the evidence you need that there's a real world out here. There's no real world out here. It is a projection of what you are making inside, which is uniquely yours. Uniquely yours, based upon your past. Now, we think there's an outside world that we all live in. No. It's an energy system outside. And we take information from it. And we create our world. Now, if you and I had much of the same experiences with life, live in the same country, maybe in the Midwest, here in Michigan, and we have the kind of weather that we have, and we kind of have the school system that we have, we kind of have the religious background that we have, and we kind of have a lot of things in common. How we create our inside world is going to be much the same. And so when we project that inside world, which is much the same, onto the energy system, and then we question, do you see this ball? And you'll say, yeah, I see that ball. But you created it. And we both created it similarly. And we both will see it similarly in the energy field and tell each other 
Why, absolutely. There is an outside world of objects, of cars and trucks and uh, dogs and balls, billiard balls and cue sticks. Now we're back to uh, another science of, uh, I can't remember. What's that guy's name? Uh, it'll come to me in a minute. Newtonian physics. Now we got the Newtonian, but Newtonian physics is just a special case inside of quantum mechanics. And this ball out here from your creating is a special case that you and I share. So there is no outside world, only energy. We create our world, and I'll have reference to a, uh, a playlist on how we create our world. I'll also have a playlist on the standard model, because unless you've been following this channel for a while, it may be a little strange to you. But almost uh, 20 to 30 percent of the time in these models, we use the standard model. That seems to work. Now, if you've got any questions, if this isn't clear to you, if you don't understand, there is no outside world. There's only the world that you create, the world of objects inside and project outside. Put a comment down below a question, and we'll see if we can answer that. Now, this is a little strange. It also, it also goes to the fact that the egoic world and its belief system is not explaining, does not tell you, does not give you the understanding that you're in an illusion. Oh, how interesting is that? So this is counterintuitive to other information and to your own belief system formed in the egoic world. And to move away from that and to begin to break apart the illusion and to move behind it will take some effort. So be good to yourself. And we look forward to seeing you again. Don't, oh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I almost forgot. We have a very important part in the Course in Miracles and the wisdom that's in the Course. And I should have brought it out. So this is important. What you project, oh, by the way, this is, you'll also find it in the uh, description for the uh, video. What you project, you disown. I'll say that again. What you project, you disown. And therefore, do not believe is yours. What you project, you disown. So as soon as you project this onto this energy system, your senses and everything, you, you look at it and you say, well, where'd that come from? Well, that must have been there first. And so this is the egoic belief. There is an outside world. And it's the real world. This is a reflection. You're inside 
is a reflection of the real world. That's 180 degrees out of phase. This is what you create. This is what you project. This is what occupies all of the patterns in this outside energy system. But your slow conscious mind gets confused and says, where'd that come from? I don't remember that. Be oh, that must have been first. No. This standard model operates at millions to billions of bits of data per second to produce your world. The conscious mind that projects this onto here operates maximum 100 bits of data per second. Your conscious mind can never know where this comes from and will never understand it. But because you believe the conscious mind knows all and tells all, you will believe this is a world out here. And it will take a change in your vision to recognize you are creating your world at a very, very fast rate and projecting it out here. And by the time your conscious mind gets to look at that, it'll say, oh, I don't remember that. I'm not attached to it. I don't believe I made it. And therefore, it's first. Now, what you, what you think is out here is a reflection of what you make inside of you. This is so counterintuitive to your belief system that you are going to have to hear it many, many, many times before it begins to make sense to you. So think about that and be good to yourself. And when we get back together again, here in the illusion, we'll have more fun. Bye now.